So there's been a lot of buzz about mirrorless cameras in today's market. We're gonna take a look at the top ones here at the Digital Gojo showrooms. Stay tuned. All right, so way back in the early 2004 era, that's when the mirrorless cameras came into the consumer market from a company called Epson, which we no longer even associate with cameras. And then after that, in 2008, we had the Micro Four Thirds system, of course, which is popular from Panasonic and Olympus. And then, of course, here comes Sony with their NEX lineup. So the cameras have completely been evolved in the system and in the way that they work now. They're much more advanced. They have incredible video capabilities, and they give you even such incredible features as touchscreen, Wi-Fi, and so forth. So now we're going to take a look at the top-selling cameras that are in the mirrorless lineup for the Digital Goja Showroom. All right, so the first one in the lineup is a very popular camera from Sony. It's the A6000, 24 megapixel crop sensor camera. You have 179 AF phase detection points, so it has incredible focusing capabilities. You have an electronic viewfinder as OLED, so it's gonna allow you to work in bright sunlight or as well as low sunlight or no sunlight because you can push this up to over 51,000 ISO. So very capable camera, and it's not going to break the bank because it is very budget-oriented with a vast selection of accessories that are available for it, the A6000. Now remember, if you need more information on any of these products, check our links below. All right, so next in the lineup is an actual Canon product. Yes, Canon is taking mirrorless seriously, and if you are a user of Canon lenses and cameras and you're used to their ecosystem, you are going to love the EOS M5. It has an electronic viewfinder, you have their dual pixel focusing system, which we are now so happy with in most of their cameras. You now have it in a lightweight compact package. You have full touchscreen capabilities and a fully vary angle touchscreen. And you have your Wi-Fi and NFC, plus you have all their flashes. And with their adapter, you have a vast array of EF lenses that you can work with this camera. So if you're used to the Canon ecosystem, take a much closer look, of course, at the EOS M5 mirrorless camera from Canon. Now, next in the lineup, it's also a crop sensor camera. This is Sony's very popular A6500. This camera has all the bells and whistles. You have full uh, 4K video capability. You're back still to 24 megapixels, but guess what? You now have over 400 focusing points. You have eye tracking capabilities. You even have a way to register different faces so that it recognizes when they walk into the scene. You have a vast selection of lenses, of course. You have touchscreen focus and shooting, weather sealing, and what did they do? They added their world famous five axis image stabilization onto the body itself. So that means any lens you put on here, you're gonna have incredible stabilization for both stills and video. So you're in the market for a camera with full capabilities. Of course, the A6500 from Sony. Now let's take a look at some full frame cameras in the mirrorless lineup. Now this is the cameras that are making Sony really popular in today's video market. You're a video shooter, you can't go wrong with the A7S II. This guy gives you full Ultra HD capability. You have clean HDMI out, you have USB power. You can still do some incredible stills because it does 12 megapixel, but again, this is the videographer's dream in a nice compact package with the five axis image stabilization, no need to walk around with extra rigging. You have the capability of working with their full lineup of accessories. Here I have one of their more popular XLR microphone setup, which gives you incredible video audio capabilities all in one compact small package. Again, you have a videographer's dream right here in a full frame lineup that is easy to take with you everywhere. Fast focusing, fantastic imaging capabilities and of course their world-renowned high ISO where if you need to you can go past 400,000 ISO capabilities and again in a nice compact package the Sony A7S II. Let's take a look at the last camera in the lineup and again thank you for staying all the way to the end. And finally we have the camera that has shown how much you can push the mirrorless market as far as capabilities the newest in Sony's lineup the A9. This guy has up to 20 frames per second raw shooting capability. So if you're a sports or event photographer, this is the guy to do it. You're at 30 megapixels. 
you have also 1080 video, so it's no slouch in the video department, but you also have dual card slots, so you now can work with the faster UHS-2 series cards that are on the market. Completely redesigned grip, fully weather sealed, so that this can work in any environment. Again, sports and event photographers are gonna love it. Sony redesigned their power system, so it has a much more powerful battery source. You have the capability of shooting continuously without that electronic viewfinder uh, blacking out, so you're gonna be able to track your subject matter in any kind of shooting situation. Again, super high detail images at 30 megapixel, and you're talking about a camera that's going up against some of the hallmarks in the systems that have been out for many years, like D5s, D4s, and 1DX Mark IIs and 1DCs. There it is, in a nice, sleek, compact package, the Sony A9 mirrorless. As always, if this video helped you out, don't forget to hit us up with that like button underneath and subscribe to the channel for future uh, unboxings, frequently asked questions, and of course, if you're ever in the Miami area, don't forget to come by and say hello at the Digital Goja Showroom. Happy shooting.